Hello everyone, Miss Emma here from the Morton Public Library, right, Library, excuse me, for tonight's Pajama Storytime Online. If you've never joined us for Pajama Storytime Online, this is our Thursday night story time where we read a bedtime story and sing some bedtime themed songs and finish off with some bubbles. If you are watching with a little one who might like a good night from me with some bubbles just for them, go ahead and put their name in the comments and I'll try to say hello when they pop up and make sure you get bubbles at the end of story time. But that's getting to the end of things before we've even started. Let's go ahead and start with our hello song. Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? There's your nose. Well. Hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose. All right, let's touch our toes next. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes, touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your toes? Touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands, clap your hands. Well, hello everybody, can you clap your hands? Clap your hands. Hi Prenda, thanks for joining me. We're gonna stomp our feet next, are you ready? Well, hello everybody, can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Well, hello everybody, can you stomp your feet? Stomp your feet. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Pat your head. Well, hello everybody. Can you pat your head? Pat your head. Fantastic. Hi Gus. Thanks for joining me tonight. We're going to sing Skinnamarinky Dink next. Are you ready? Skinnamarinky Dinky Dink. Skinnamarinky do. I love you. Skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. I love you in the morning and in the afternoon. I love you in the evening and underneath the moon. Oh, skin a marinky dinky dink, skin a marinky do. I love you. going to sing five in the bed so it's time to put up five fingers can you count my fingers with me let's start with my thumb we have one two three four five and that fifth one is the little one in the bed our pinky finger there were five in the bed and the little one said roll over roll over so they all rolled over and one fell out. There were four in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. How many are left? That's right, there are three left. There were three in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. There were two in the bed and the little one said, roll over, roll over. So they all rolled over and one fell out. How many are left? Just the one little one. Can you hold up your pinky and wiggle it? <laughs> there was one in the bed and the little one said, good night. Are you ready for our book? Our book tonight is called Whoops That Noise by Naomi Horth. It's a seal and all sorts of arctic animals in the cold. Not at all like today, it is so warm out today. But this is at the arctic, so it's very cold there even in the summer. Early one morning, while the sun was rising over the icy plains of the Arctic, a long roll, 
long, low, rumbling sound woke Magnus from a very deep sleep. What's that noise, he wondered. It went rumble, rumble, rumble. Could it be the wind? Do you think it's the wind making a rumble noise? Could it be the sea making a rumble noise? Could it be an iceberg cracking? Magnus just couldn't figure it out. He needed to find a friend with a good pair of ears. So he found Hare. Hello, Hare, said Magnus. Can you help me? What's that noise? So Hare listened, rumble, rumble, rumble. I don't know, said Hare, but let's go and ask our friends. So Magnus and Hare set off over the ice, and all the while, the rumbling sound followed them. Rumble, rumble, rumble. By the frosty forest, they met Owl. Hello, Owl, Magnus said. Can you help us? What's that noise? Is it the creaking of the trees? Owl listened. Rumble, rumble, rumble. No, she said, it's not the creaking of the trees. On top of the snowy rocks, they found Fox. It's an Arctic Fox, so they're all white. Hello, Fox, said Magnus. Can you help us? What's that noise? Is it the whistling of the wind? Fox listened. Rumble, rumble, rumble. No, he said, it's not the whistling of the wind. By the icy river, they met Polar Bear. Hello, Bear. Can you help us? What's that noise? Is it the cracking of the ice? Bear listened. Rumble, rumble, rumble. No, she said, it's not the cracking of the ice. Hi, Gracelyn and Noah and Calvin. So glad you're able to join me tonight. At last, by the edge of the sea, they met Walrus. Seals and walruses sometimes look kind of alike, but walruses have long tusks. Please, walrus, can you help us? What's that noise? Is it the roaring of the sea? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh no, said walrus. It's not the roaring of the sea, but I think I know what it could be. What do you think it is that's making a rumble, rumble, rumble sound? Walrus said, dive into the water and catch the plumpest, pinkest shrimp you can find. Do you have an idea? With a splash, Magnus dived down into the depths of the sea. Look at that beautiful fountain. And there he found lots of plump, pink shrimp. Some jellyfishes, too, from the look of it. But I don't think seals eat jellyfish. He brought them back to Walrus, and they had a delicious feast. Suddenly, they realized that it was very quiet. It wasn't the creaking of the trees or the whistling of the wind, said Magnus, and it wasn't the cracking of the ice or the roaring of the sea. The great rumbling sound has been coming from me. It was his stomach rumbling. He must have been very hungry. And everyone laughed and laughed to think of all that noise from coming from Magnus's rumbling, grumbling, hungry tummy. <laughs> After their long day and with their tummies full, the friends settled down to a deep sleep. It was very peaceful. But then, Walrus peeled open one wrinkly eye. What's that noise? Rumble, rumble, rumble. It was the long, loud rumbling sound of sleepy seal snores. Good night, Magnus. The end. You are great listeners. Friends, go ahead and clap for yourself from listening. All right. We are going to finish up by singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star and then doing our bubbles. 
If you are watching with a little one who would like bubbles and you haven't put their name in the comments, this is our last best chance to do that. We're going to sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star twice. You ready to get those fingers twinkling? Twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle twinkle little star, how I wonder what you are. Twinkle twinkle Let's go ahead and have some bubbles. I have some bubbles here for Calvin. Good night, Calvin. I have some bubbles here for Noah. Good night, Noah. I have bubbles for Graceland. Good night, Graceland. Bubbles for Gus. Good night, Gus. Bubbles for Prenda. Good night, Prenda. Oh, I will have some more friends here. Blakely and Tayton and Mason. Thanks for coming, guys. Here's some bubbles for Blakely. Here's some bubbles for Tayton. And some bubbles for Mason. And here's some bubbles for any other friends who I might have at home watching. Good night, friends. I'm so glad you were able to join me. Oh my goodness, that one popped on my head. That <laughs> you were able to join me for pajama story time tonight. I'm so glad to have you with me. I hope to see you again next Thursday night at 7 p.m. for our next pajama story time online. Let's sing our goodbye song. See you later, alligator, in a wild 